Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at an application called Moxtra. Now, Moxtra is available for both iOS devices as well as Android devices, and includes a web-based application as well, so you can basically use it wherever you are. Moxtra is a centralized storage locker, I'll call it, for all of your important information that can be shared with family, friends, and coworkers. So let's launch the iPad app to show you the main screen, which includes all of my binders. Moxer is um, full of binders. Binders uh, are what the app calls kind of each project or item that you're working on. And you can have a bunch of different things inside each of these binders. So I created a binder for my recent trip to Maine, which is right here, which I filled with a few items that I had on uh, the trip. So you can add things like photographs or video or take a picture right from the device you have Moxer running on. You can also add things from web-based applications like Evernote, Box.net, Google Drive, and Dropbox. You can, of course, create a brand new page inside each binder where you can write handwritten notes or access a web browser to add other content. Finally, there is an application that you can install on your desktop, which will allow you to go back to your own computer and add content to Moxter right from there as well. So as you can see, I've already added a few things to my binder. These include things like my confirmation email for my flight to and from Maine, that I used a special web clipping application that's inside the Moxter app to add to, rental car information as well. I also added a photograph you can see there. And one of the cool things about Moxer is you can add voice annotations to any of your notes. So if you are collaborating on a project, and I'll get to the sharing aspect of Moxer in a second, you can record voice over notes on a special page that you want to call out so that your collaborators know kind of the message you're trying to get across. So I took this photograph and then I added a little voice note to it. I took this picture in Maine on the last night we were there. This is the view of the moon so that just highlights what the picture is about um, as I mentioned I can also add handwritten notes or text-based notes if I wanted to do, do that as well so adding the content to Moxtra is kind of what it um, you know it's the most basic thing where it really shines is the ability to share and collaborate on things so down here in the lower left hand corner are all the different options the sharing feature allows me to share this specific binder um, privately with other users of Moxtra. So, for example, with the main vacation binder, I could get my family to also sign up for Moxtra, which again is totally free. And then I can share this binder with them so that they can add their own personal content that they want to create in the binder itself to the binder as well. There is an update section which is kind of cool. It's kind of like a timeline and shows you anytime something's been added to your binders, who added it and when it was added, and kind of gives you a top-down view of everything that's been added to the binder itself. There is a feature called Moxtra Meet, which allows you to have a voice over P, a voice over IP like conversation about a specific binder. So again, if you're using this in a workplace environment and want to collaborate on a project and actually go over all the stuff you've added, you can dial up other members and have them like live in person talking to them while you're viewing all of the binder content inside. Finally, you can also share the content that's in each binder via a variety of ways. You can post it on Facebook, you can export it to Evernote, you can send by email or text, or just simply copy the link and mail it to someone at a later date. So pretty cool sharing options. Let me just show you a couple of the features as I mentioned. I'm just gonna create a new binder here and just call it Larry's Binder. And then I'll show you some of the things like I was mentioning about adding. So if I wanna add something from the web, I can just go into the browser that's built in. Right now it's in my Gmail box, but we'll just go to Yahoo for the sake of this review. And uh, we'll pick, whoops, we'll pick a page to add to it. So let me just get that going. All right, now we should be able to get there. And if I want, I can clip part of this page and add. So let's just say there's an interesting story that I want to read. Uh, Let's go to this one. Is this the greatest American made car ever made? Let's say I want this photograph. If I hit the clipping application, it brings up this special tool that I can move around and size to the photograph. 
and then hit snap area. There is also the option to snap the whole page and now you can see down below when I hit done, I've added that photograph to my binder and there it is inside the binder itself. So pretty cool, I can do that from anywhere. Again, I can also choose to add things that are already on my device or from a variety of other services too. So Mrockster is kind of a very cool storage, we'll call it cloud-based collaborative place for all of your important files and folders and pictures and videos and audio. And not only for you by yourself, but perhaps more importantly when you're working with other people and you want to be able to easily share what you're working on and have other people contribute to that same project across every device from anywhere, this is the app for you. Again, totally free from the iTunes App Store and the Google Play Store. I'll have those links in the video description. I'd also love it if you hit the annotation link so you can read my full review of this over on runaroundtech.com. If you have any questions about this or anything else, definitely drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day.